my sweet, sweet angels. We are doing a thrift haul today, a secondhand haul, variety of locations where these came from. It's definitely collective. Some of this dates back to like actual lockdown-ish time period um, from buying stuff on Etsy. I've been pretty like selective with what I've been looking for. So all of these I've definitely been wearing a lot. I'm very into each and every piece, which is great. I think you'll uh, hopefully enjoy this. I'm gonna do some more fashion videos kind of coming up, maybe like a fall winter essentials. So yeah, smash that subscribe button if you are new here and I will, I'm gonna get into it. All right, let's start it out. Let's go back to the beginning, shall we? Is this the beginning? This feels like I got this two years ago, but I guess this must have been sometime over the past few months. Okay, this is from, I'm gonna list this seller. It's like an Instagram seller. And you guys know that I really like my liner type jackets. This is kind of a version of that, but I thought it was really, really nice with this kind of sporty stripe going around the back of it and it's reversible so it has this really nice light white liner for nice for fall it's like lightweight so it's not as heavy as the other military liners that i have very into that Getting back let's see here next i got this i ordered on etsy from germany so i literally i think i got it like two months after i ordered it um which was totally fair and fine because i wasn't even here so good this is now one of my favorite tops it's very cute, like dirndl-esque, super cute. I like that it's striped, if you can see that. It has this really nice little baby stripe. It's cropped like right under my boobs, which I think is kind of cute and kind of hot. The stripes really just stuck it to me. That's what sold me on it. Definitely gonna wear it a lot more now that it's a little bit cooler outside. Let's see here, I threw in these pair of denim because they're really good. This year I said maybe I'll start wearing tight-ish denim we're still not going too tight but this is these pair are pretty good like i'm not gonna lie i found them on etsy they're vintage levi's 560s a loose fit straight leg i always look for like the loose fit when i'm looking for vintage levi's super good fading under the butt which eventually will probably rip out because of that but but they, I think it also gives like a really nice shading on my, on my booty. Those are good. I might have even gotten these when I was living in my old apartment, but I don't think I've ever put them in to a haul. Next, picked this up recently, Vintage Twin. I always get credit there when you guys use my code, so thanks guys for giving me credit. You guys get $20 and I get $20, so it's like kind of a fun deal. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Sometimes they like alter their clothes, so this one's like bleach dyed. I think it's just kind of nice and sporty. If I ever go on a run outside of my apartment and build up the courage to do so, I will, maybe I'll wear this. Otherwise, I think it just looks really cute with, with jeans, like everything does. Okay, these, maybe my most worn item from summer this year. I took me three tries to get the right fit on these. For some reason, they're all, so small like the sellers will mark them as like small medium and then when they get there they're ch like child sized in my opinion um finally found a pair that fit these are cool definitely vintage from like a college team it looks like super nice three stripe little vintage sport shorts i think i'm gonna get a pair of like pants that look like this for fall so i can kind of keep the same style-esque um for fall because i wore these truly like every single day for month just like nice little short to have um and switch it up from like just wearing denim shorts all the time i don't even want to tell you guys this seller but i love you all so i'm gonna give you this hot tip called moth food on instagram he has such a good collection of like true vintage you can tell he's just like, taken a lot of time finding just like very authentic vintage that is so good every time he drops teas like you know it's not super cheap because it's like true vintage but it is so good and i've kind of been very into two-toned jackets you'll see in a second what else i found so yeah I grabbed this jacket and I think it's so good. I, it's very like sailor 
vibes. It's cropped as well. I think this was like $100, which is definitely not cheap in one of my like more expensive vintage purchases, but I don't know. I really liked it. I feel like this is definitely gonna live in my closet for a long time. I don't think I have any other crop jacket. I'm always drooling over everything he posts and drops on Instagram. Next, Shopsuki was so sweet and they sent me a few items. Also, I've been wearing the shit out of all of these. Truly, on Instagram, I feel like all my recent outfits have just been me rotating through these three pieces. They're all really good. Um, red silk button down. This is amazing. It looked so good wearing this to the beach in the summer. Um, just wearing this like open with like a nice little sports bra underneath. I think it's really cute. I'm a sucker for button downs. You guys know that. Always will be, always have been pretty much, but this one is really good and I don't really have um, silk ones. Really nice to have silk. There's like something a little bit more elevated I could say about them. Next is this very, it's a, too small for me. <laughs> when I wear it, I feel as if you can tell that maybe it's too small for me because the sleeves are too short, kind of like this jacket, but I think it also kind of works it's like a vibe. It's really nice, has this beautiful um, lace and like cut out detail on the sleeves, which I think is really nice and also on the back around the collar and then the sleeves are really puffy and then down the front on this one side it has like zigzagged or like a little bow and then zigzag lace going down the side i don't know i think it's really cute last thing they sent me which is really nice is the vintage ysl button down yeah you can't go wrong with these again like I feel like just everyday wear has been really solid by having a few button downs that I kind of throw over everything. Not, oh, I forgot my shoes, hold on. Okay, for the sake of lighting, I'm gonna just show you these. I've been taking a ceramics class and I wear these shoes <laughs> when I take them so there's clay all over them. I'll clean it off for when I actually show you. These loafers are the shit. like truly. I was on the hunt for so long, like I swear all summer I've been refreshing like Etsy and other sellers to find like a pair of loafers that aren't so expensive because a lot of people buy like vintage Gucci loafers or whatever and I was just not really trying to spend $500 on a pair of shoes that just get trashed like always. The brand on these is Franco Sarto. I wore them once a little bit uncomfortable but after that they broke in so well I could walk 10 miles in these shoes and they would not give me blisters, which is awesome. I think I put them on with literally everything I've been wearing. So that's was my favorite find in the past like year. These are so good. I got them on Object Limited. Basically, it's kind of like a, it's a selling platform. So if you guys don't have their app, you should check them out and then I'll link the actual shop that I got them from because she was super nice as well. And lastly, last weekend I was walking around Greenpoint with Rose and ran into two little sidewalk sales, which was awesome. One was like a few different women. I think they were just kind of cleaning out their closets and uh, I picked up this jacket and there wasn't a price on it. And I was like, this is gonna be we we're in Greenpoint, so I was like, this is gonna be literally $70. Of course it would be $70. And I said, hello, um, how much is this? And she said, $15. And I think she saw my face just like light up and I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> and it's so good. I know you guys are gonna say it's like, well, yeah, literally maybe already have versions of this, but not this. This is also really nice because it's like a jacket, but it's lighter weight. So I could wear good for the transition of fall because I could wear like a little tee underneath it, wear this over if I get a little hot. I would qualify it as a jacket and not a shirt, but I think it's somewhere in between. Look at these pockets. Oh, little stars. There's little stars on the pockets. It's so good. I, yeah, I just have different versions of the same uniform that just makes me feel good. And this is, this is that. I love it so much. And then we walked over a block and the Silkies, cool little Instagram store. It was 
whenever I have human connection now, outside of like my very, very immediate friends that I see, it just warms my heart. So we like talked to the owner of this vintage store. She was super, super nice. And yeah, like all of those interactions, I'm just like, it just makes me feel really fulfilled. Rose picked this up and was like, I can't believe you didn't grab this. And she was like, it's very you, but I, I kind of overlooked it because I am afraid of sweater vests. And I always have been. I know they're like very much kind of becoming a thing right now, but this was really cute. Little polka dots. I love anything that has polka dots. They will never go out for me. Also, oh, it's literally reversible, essentially. Okay, that's really cute. It's cap sleeved. We'll see what I do with it. I think it's gonna work. The owner was said she got this in Paris a few years ago. I thought this was a really nice find for like a little sexy wine night with my friends. If that ever happens. That was everything I got. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. It was really fun to show everyone. Let me know if you wanna see some other videos in the comments and I will see you in the next one.